Hey guys, it's Maggie from Knitting in the Park. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a really fun new skill that I just learned. Uh, it's becoming popular thanks to one of those Regram Instagram accounts, but it's called a couple different things. So essentially, it's a horizontal braid or a horizontal cable across your knitting. Um, some people know it as an Estonian braid. Some people know it as a Vickel braid. Some people call it an Estonian Vickel braid. <laughs> There's a lot of different names for it, but essentially it's carrying a knit stitch horizontally across your project. I'm using it in a new shawl that I'm making. If you follow along with my what's neat, what's on um, Wow, that's a tongue twister. What's on my needles Wednesday posts? You might have seen this one. I'm using Lion Brand Yarn, their new Ferris wheel in a colorway called Cherry on Top. It's a little dark in here, so my shawl might look reminiscent of the 70s right now, but the colors are really vibrant. I promise you, it's really fun to knit with. It's kind of like roving, so I'm hoping that it shows okay on the video and that together we can learn this really fun new technique. So again, you can search for other uh, tutorials on this if you do horizontal braid, Vickel braid, Estonian braid, or any combination of the aforementioned. So let's get started. Okay, so we've got our shawl here that I'm working on. If you can see this nice little horizontal stitch that works across is a simple little cable technique that involves a couple of skills that you probably already have in your knitting skill bank or quiver here. So I've used it in this shawl to border my Andalusian section here between my stockinette sections. So that's kind of a mouthful, but without further ado, let's Okay, so to work this horizontal braid, we're going to cast on one. I like to use the cable cast on. So I'll insert my right hand needle in between the first and left stitch on my left hand needle. Wrap my working yarn around and knit. So now I've created my stitch. Second step is to transfer that stitch onto my left hand needle. You'll be doing this a lot throughout this uh, skill here. So now we start making the cable. And the first step is to go identify the second stitch on your left hand needle. And we're going to knit the stitch through the back. I'm gonna to try to do this through a camera here, which can be a little bit tricky. So we go through the back of that second stitch, wrap the yarn around, and we're just going to knit it. And now, the first ones are always a little bit hard because with that cast on, they tend to uh, mingle here or be close. So now you're going to go back through, oh goodness, and knit that first stitch on the left hand needle as normal. So then you can finally transfer it off the left hand needle. So to set up again here, we're going to transfer the first stitch from the right hand needle to the left hand needle. All right, just trying to make sure we don't lose focus here. So I'm going to go through the back of the second stitch on the left hand needle and knit that guy. And then bring my right hand needle to the front and knit the first stitch as normal. And then I'll pull those that first and second stitch off the left hand needle. So that's how you do it. So you transfer the first stitch from the right to the left. Okay. And then identify the second stitch on the left hand needle. Knit that through the back. And 
and then come around to the front and knit that stitch as normal. Then you can take both of those, the first and second, off the left-hand needle. Start it again. Transfer the first stitch on the right-hand needle back to the left-hand needle. Knit through the back of the second stitch. And then bring your right-hand needle back to the front and through the front of the first stitch. And then you can take them off. So you're just going to continue working in this fashion until you've gotten all the way across to the end of your shawl. And you can see you're starting to get this horizontal stitch that's running across. Now, I tried to keep it a little bit tight. You'll see that the stitches on my right hand needle, there are a little, there's some space between the knitting and the needle. If you knit these too loosely, that space will grow. And then let's see if I can show you in my first attempt at this cable. You could see that the row after the horizontal braid, the stitches were quite loose and so they're quite tall here. So if you can, try to keep your tension a little bit tighter during this row here. But that's how you work the, oh gosh, what are we calling it? So the horizontal braid, the Estonian braid, the Vickle braid or Vickle cable. Um, if you search for horizontal braid, or either Estonian or Vickle, um, those two kind of buzzwords or keywords will show in a lot of different tutorials or uh, patterns on the internet there. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the comments below, or you can always reach me at maggie at knittinginthepark.com.